well, 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 fuck, you know. I'm excited. Um, Elder Project is what I'm calling it. I don't know really what it's called. Well, it can be whatever I called. I'm, I'm the one making it up. But uh, basically, I want to recreate um, the scenes from 3rd edition, uh, probably Craftworld's Codex, or thereabouts. Basically, I want on each one of these platforms, there are four, I want a different scene from the Elder World. And I think it's been my dream forever to recreate the armies. I've always just battled with being a better painter. And now I'm kind of like, I want Elder. So in this episode, I'm going to outline what I want and what I'm going to plan to do. And hopefully slowly update you guys. I went down on my, you know, tones there, octaves to, to make it seem more boring. But actually it's, it's, it's like genuinely, I'm super excited. I also I've got this view, which is kind of cool. I don't know. Yeah, really. Whoosh. Really. Up the show. Skaboosh. So, no other, nothing else other than me talking about these kind of long plans and kind of how I want to do it. And I don't really know how to do it. All I know is I want to fucking do it. So, um, essentially, this is one of those shelves. Um, yeah. So, I need to sort of zoom out a little bit to show you exactly. This is basically the top shelf in my shelf. Well, you can see actually, right? These two guys are obviously, uh, yeah, here. Um, and basically, I've kind of got this kind of rough scene laid out here. Yeah. Now, if you don't like Elder, this, this, this shelf is probably going to be quite offensive for you. Um, if you do like Elder, it could be a really nice shelf for you. Um, but what I want to do, right, is I want to get rid of everything on this shelf and fundamentally recreate this scene on this shelf. This beautiful scene. So I've got, I've got Black Guardians that I did like six years ago. Um, but I need to... Um, I, well, actually, genuinely, I need to redo everything that I've got. So I painted some Wraith Guard, but nothing, well, similar, but but I took some artistic flair because I didn't realise how much I wanted to recreate. So I'm now in the process of buying more jungle trees that I can. Um, why does it keep popping like that? It's slightly annoying. I do have um, this fire prism. So that is one thing. I have. Admittedly looking a little bit more um, dusty. But yeah, I painted this fire prism four years ago, maybe. Probably four and a half, four, whatever it was. Um, but it was, the, that was actually probably the, the first time I realized I wanted to recreate um, the heavy metal style. And I can see a lot of things I'd like to do differently, sure. But I do quite like the fire prism in a really weird way. Um, <laughs> I think I love Elder. So this brings us to here. So I don't think I've got the skill or patience or time, or I don't really know, to, to recreate this pylon. So I'm, I'm commissioning it. A little bit cheeky. Um, and I'm going to pay money. Now, I found a guy online who says he's up for trying. It doesn't mean he can. If you think you can recreate this and you want to make my life love better, no, well, not, I don't know if it'll make my life better, but if you want to be part of a project that I'm very passionate about, and I'd love to hear from you if you could do something like this. I mean, the absolute dream would be to like get the originals from GW. I just don't know if they exist anymore. I've got a lot. Of, I've got a lot of these jungle trees though. Um, so anyway, 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 back to the point. What I want to do is literally uh, where we had hold your horses, where we had the shelf going across. I basically want um, like. Hold on. This. Yeah, that back. Well, the shelf, I want this this river, right, running across the front of that shelf. And then I want, obviously, this space that we've got here where all the elder and, you know, everyone could sit. And then at the back of the cabinet, I want this big brick thing, like the brick thing, <laughs> cliff. Uh, and that's what I want, like, literally. Um, I don't know why. 
but I really want it. And then obviously I think I'm going to have to have like that little backward drop on the right. I'm going to probably have to print something out. Um, like I'm not interested in armies on display or anything. Cause I hadn't thought of it, but now I'm like, who, but it won't fit because I wanted to live inside my cabinet. Um, I also would like to have a crack at this, this fire prism again now, in all honesty that I can paint better. Um, cause the contrast there is still pretty sweet, but that was oddly hard at the time um laborious I spent a long time on it anyway so i've got i've got a bit of in all the models like absolutely i've painted one warlock in in to high standard basically i've got you know i've got the war walkers i either need to go over them or or just yeah touch them up so this is the army i wanted to create for the for one shelf um here and 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 that's the kind of concept go bosh and just plop it on top and then we have um slightly less well documented but the other four shelves which are going to obviously look the same as this shelf but lower down although just quickly you'll see there are two sandheim there and two jet bikes now stuart um thompson or thompson thomas <laughs> the heavy metal painter um he is like my inspiration i think for all this stuff like the the era that i love the most like those jet bikes i need to do more i need to do a full squadron and which does tie in nicely to where i was going which is here so obviously this has new and old so in the middle you've got the ones thomas stewart did um and the ones that like are the real real elder for me the things that really get my like going i'm currently doing a viper and i completely underestimated how effing hard red is to do with that slight orange so Stuart if you watch uh you will be six minutes in seven minutes in I really would love to know I could probably just message you and in fact I probably will just message you on Facebook and ask um but uh still yeah uh, like it's it's kind of hard at least I feel like it's hard it's hard for me to do a one-to-one -one recreation which is exactly what I'm trying to do I want them to be as close to these models as as, as I could humanly get them um, and that's what I'm going to try and do which also means I have to create this squadron of uh, jet bike kind of storm guardians basically which is the ones you see on the right uh, sorry the left of, of those guys um, but you know I have to do it and I don't know how I'm going to recreate this scenery in a shelving type but god i want to do it i really want to do it um so then then obviously we have also hold on the beltan son of a bitches so i've done an avatar now in that style which you can see here oh of course and i just finished the wraith lord uh which to do it again do you know who painted the the wraith lords basically i'd love to know everything Truthfully, if, if you were there when they were going down, that Wraith Lord was so much harder. I've spoken about it before than I ever thought it should have been to do those lines, to get it all white. So I'm probably not looking forward to painting Beltan. Um, but the Avatar, uh, that's probably my third one that I painted. Just I just love painting it, really. And I've tried to get it as close as I could to the Beltan version that we saw here. Um, it still is not like there. It's not. I tried. Like I don't have the patience of a, a saint to spend as long as maybe I need to to get them exactly right. But I think maybe when the army's laid out, it, it will look it will look kind of relatively respectful. Um, but yeah, I'm not looking forward to painting those jet bikes because I think they're very very well painted. I think they're painted not only with the fades which you can see on the fire prisms, but with the brambles so brambles plus fade means scary basically so i think i need to find another commission guy to do this scenery and this will be yeah the, the second so honestly <clears throat> if i can get it looking 90 percent like this that 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 is like pretty much my life life's ambition um life's ambition is, is, is obviously not my entire life's ambition but you know like warhammer life's ambition i was trying to think of the words and then not not finally but then you've got the um hmm, allotic hmm, allotic and you know i read all the elder and i've been reading them since i was 14 13 
but I've never bothered learning how to pronounce them. Iotic? Allotic. That would be weird if that is it. Anyway, the jungles. I've got a lot of fish tank jungle stuff that I need. Um, but I still don't think I've got the right ones. Like you see in the bottom left, you've got those small bushes. And um, the other ones on the right with the slightly bigger ones, I think I do have. And I'm still trying to buy more jungle pieces. I've managed to buy three people have, have had the jungle pieces. Uh, and kindly let me buy them from them with the postage being more expensive than the fucking jungle trees. But um, that's what I need to do. And I think I've, I've sourced the flock now that a lot of these guys are using. Uh, obviously not there, not there. Okay. In fact, just uh, all three and this jungle base. But it's the old train flock that I'm I'm super, super fucking interested in. Um, <clears throat> so... The blue, I have to say, I love the blue. And I didn't have a clue that they painted three vipers. Not a clue. I think that's another thing I really need to source is um, basically like painting guides for these things. I imagine they've used sponges on those things. They're just so crisp. Stuart, again, who painted these? If you know. Uh, I've got to do the banshees. Got to do the, I've done one test um, guardian. But I don't think I did it. Oh, no. Yeah, I did a yellow body. Ah, that's not from our... Okay, so I've never actually painted one of these in my life. Uh, the rangers are really interesting. I don't know how they blend in, but they, they do, apparently. And then finally, we have uh, the Iandin. Iandin, I think it's Iandin. So I have done a test one of these, and it was quite fun. It's a very nice, extremely contrasting thing. I'm not looking forward to the Wraith Lord. All orange. Uh, the idea of all yellow and orange, it, it petrifies me. Like, I don't know how much yellow they had to use to do this. I suppose you under, you under, must undercoat white. And maybe you airbrush them back then. Then fill in the blacks. But the idea of, like, you make a mistake with the black. And then, um, well, you have to go with a lot, a lot of yellow. I don't think foundation paints were around back then either. So this one would be quite cool for a base. So the thing is, I only have four shelves. One, two, three, four. Four shelves. So one of these craft worlds needs to drop. And I love them all equally. So maybe maybe I just try and paint them all and get these things done and then buy a second. It's quite an expensive shelving unit, to be honest. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Not that far ahead. I'll just get them all commissioned and then I can like rotate one army. Um, or maybe the one I haven't finished yet. But it's a lot of models to paint. I, I do have quite comfortably or like enough of these models probably partly because I, I bought most of the army boxes and just bits and pieces when you love an army you tend to buy a lot of stuff so this is my new project and this is my new labor of love i think at the moment i'm too frustrated with as you guys know and you've talked me out of it i'm too frustrated with a uh, larger scale just don't feel like i've got it yet so and now and i are going to learn together I'm going to teach him how to suffer a fool, and he's going to teach me how to paint uh, models. But so for the meantime, while I've got this burning rage, I will do that. This. Now, I'm not going to wait, even though I really want to wait for the terrain. I'm going to try and get the armies finished before then. That's going to be my goal. Uh, so enjoy the journey with me. In a way, it would be kind of cool to do weekly updates and show you what I painted. So I am painting like a lot every week. That would be really cool. And I hope I can do that. Uh, and in the other news, I can share dragon head models. Um, the box art that I'm having done. You, you did see actually. Hold your horses. Why is this always? Oh, I've locked it. Embarrassing, isn't it? This box art here from an owl for dragon head. Uh, that model no longer is on sale anyway. I doubt any of you are really going to go and look. But it's not for sale. But the new model I'm having done, and when I say having done, it's already been conceptualized, sculpted, and now it's being painted by Ithami. So this isn't my painting, but my word is it good. Now I've actually done a complete step-by-step. Um, -step. It's quite long. I might have to edit it down because it is just a brain dump, but basically each step and how to source and how to go through. But I thought I'd share this because it doesn't show too much of the model, but it shows enough 
if you like dragons and you like supporting dragon head which is new this will be my fourth release maybe you can probably a month away or something like that um until i release it but it's it's here and it's wonderful and it's just like a year of work and now i'm able to show it it's quite it's quite a lot of work man like i don't know models i never thought would take this long to get done and effort wise but it's it's a bloody good journey especially when you do the concept step one you're like super happy and well if it's good step two the sculpt and then you're like fucking hell you you've outdone the concept at least my expectation of what I had in my brain and then third when you have someone like a thammy working on your box arts um and it comes back and you're yeah you're basically blown away by by what you see um and i always find but like pretty much all those steps excluding concept which is a little bit like you're not so balls deep in it is daunting as it were and and um maybe dawn is not the word but just like it gets, so much can kind of go wrong because you have these expectations and things in your head of how cool or, or what it will look out. And then when it when it exceeds those expectations, it is like, I was going to say a slap on the balls, but that's probably a negative thing normally. Uh, and, and, and that would be a negative thing for me just to, 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 to highlight that. But for some people, it's not. I've seen videos. Um, so it's more like a... It exceeds expectations exceptionally. Uh, and and this is is one of those moments. So obviously, I need to see the rest. He needs to do more. This is like a heavy work in progress, but it's worth sharing because I'm I'm excited and I've wanted to share for a long time because I like this piece. Everybody likes the pieces I do, but I've done pieces that I don't like, and I've done pieces that I do love and not anybody else likes. But this one, I I I'm sharing it. I'm enjoying it. It's Friday. It's like a party day. Happy New Year to all like subscribe share i meant to say that at the start of the video fuck you all thanks for joining <laughs> i didn't mean to sign off with thanks for joining anyway thanks for watching thank you and thank you for your comments thank you for your support yeah i'm excited basically i'm excited by like two of these things that's going on elder which is slow and this which i basically have to do nothing except give somebody money and a little bit of support and not not like that kind of support like bounce ideas off anyway waffle waffle see you later guys